It's day three on Celebrity Edge and we spend the day on the beach in Ibiza. So we have arrived at what we think is Talamanca Beach. Floating poo in the sea. Name it as cruising, name it as cruising, yeah. Guten Morgen. Good morning from the Celebrity Edge. So last night we were out till about 3am. We got back to the cabin about half three. Yeah, we... Again, late night again, especially an early night or earlier night. It was like, even when we left last night, the whole place was still vibing. Buzz, very still buzzy, yeah. Yeah, we were just starting to be very aware of the time and we took some photos on deck. And then we came home and then came home back to our cabin. And I was very sneaky because I went to the buffet just before one o'clock <laughs> and got some pizza so that drunken Amy could come and eat it, yes. which was good. She was very happy. She was very happy with um, <laughs> really past just... Amy. I think Jason was very happy with your idea as well. Yeah, Jason uh, did the same and he messaged us this morning going, I love the pizza I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, get your snacks in before if you want to have get a Get your though. snacks. Today we're going to be docking into Ibiza soon. Yes. In about an hour or half an hour or so. So while we wait, we're going to go to the gym, mm -hmm. like good people on cruises. Yeah, good people. Go work out. And then we're going to hopefully head into Ibiza and maybe try and find a little beach to go to later if we can. That's the plan. We've got a bat and ball. We've got a know? bat and ball to play with. Yeah. Maybe take our books if we want to. Yeah. Just have a little chill. Yeah. We've, enjoy. We're feeling like a bit of a chilled beachy vibe. So. Yeah. Feeling beachy vibes. We'll go chill for a bit. Yeah. So today, because we're lazy bones, we missed our breakfast. Which it sucks. So we're kind of going for a brunch. In fairness to us, we did go to the gym, yeah. so that is kind of like, we, we did have a lion, but we went to the gym after. Early lunch, or a brunch, I guess, yeah. we call this, even though it's more lunchy. We're going to have a proper lunch later. Yeah, we'll have a later lunch. What, what have you got, Nathan? This is a moussaka mm -hmm. with some Greek salad. I've got chicken salad here. Chicken salad, ooh, to nice. To put into a roll. i got some crisps. You don't really get them on cruise lines, do we? That's no. the first time we ever seen crisps available in a buffet already. It's pretty good. And they've got some cheese and crackers and yeah. lo literally just loads of cheese. And a bit of shrit as well. And shrit, so yeah. Nice. Got just... a little snacking fest. Yeah, more of a just uh, hold me. Right, let's dig in now. <laughs> How are you rating the food on here so far? I would say it's excellent. Like we thought that PO was excellent, one of the best we've had. I'd say this is trumping PO at the moment, I think. Yeah. I mean PO is you couldn't fault it and this one is again you can't fault it every meal we've had has been I so good a choice, there is so much choice there's so many different stations and like little options bigger options and you've got the the sort of the mask grill for like you know the burgers and the other things like that and then you've got the spa one for like little quinoa salads and kale pasta and things like that you know sort of offering out healthier options for people that might not want the heavier options mm. there's just so much choice too much choice it's actually I actually dread coming to lunch sometimes, like today, I'm just dreading it because I walk around, I just didn't know what to pick. And I'm like, what do I pick? It's that I can eat everything. Is <laughs> that a beautiful view? That's a beautiful view. Oh, you mean me? Yeah. Hi. There are plenty of transport options available in the port. These include local buses, water taxis and regular taxis. Or if you're tight like us, then you can walk. Quite nice. No, an electric tree. Electric, is it a cricket? A, cr a cricket? What's it, believe Jimmy Cricket's like six foot farther? Give a little whistle. I don't <laughs> think so. Right, we're almost there. Yeah, not too far. See a sign for Talamanca Beach. It takes approximately 12 minutes to get there. Yeah, it's about a kilometre walk, the sign said, so we're pretty happy walking about that. We're not going really fast because it's really hot. And also, we keep stopping. Yeah, but, um, no, it's a pleasant walk actually, it's very pleasant scenery. Yeah, it's really cute. It's very cute here. I came here a lot as a kid, but I don't recognise anything, but I might have been on a different part of the island to be fair. Yeah, but um, no, it's beautiful what we've seen so far. And yeah. I hope the beach is going to be nice as well. Mm. Ah. Here we are, Talamanca, with ah. a little beach sign. Talamanca. Talamanca. Is this the beach? So we have arrived at what we think is Talamanca Beach. We're a bit confused because it seems really small. Oh, maybe it's around there. Ah, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> I was about to say, this is a tiny beach. Yeah. And just 
<laughs> it seemed like a beach. Uh, like, look, like wood chippings as well. Oh, why is it? Get a uh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> you liar! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? It's cold. <laughs> Here is Nathan trying to climatise the water instead of just getting in. I'll get in, alright. Maybe I should fix that for you. You dare. What would you do? What are you going to do? I, I, I'm, I'm already in. You are, but I shall hurt you. In ways unknown to man. No. No! Oh. <laughs> so here we are at Talamanca Beach in Ibiza where Amy reckons that all the seas are warm in Ibiza where she's a bloody liar because this was freezing and my ghoulies are freezing right now. <laughs> I like it when water takes me places. You certainly do, don't you? One with the water. The bat and ball are out. Serious gaming is going to happen. Warming up so that the failure is. We don't play properly. What we do is... Um, like it, see how many times we can keep it going. Yeah, so... Like keep it uppy, but with two people. Yeah. We suck. You, we both suck. Yep. We need a bit more practice. Yeah, we've only got to five so far. Yeah. Uh, Should we carry on? Yeah. See if we can beat five. I'm back all. So Nathan broke our last bat and ball. Whoa, 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 hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Right. <laughs> yes, I did break one of the bats, but it was only because Amy started it. No, because like, he, he she broke was it. splashing the water with the bat onto me. So I got a bit annoyed <laughs> and was going to retaliate and do the same back to her. So I hit the bat into the water and the bat broke in half. <laughs> That's not my fault because my... she started it. If she hadn't splashed me, I would have did it. I would have done it. My, my bat didn't break. I think you're just too aggressive. I think I'm just too strong. No, I think really. Well, you know, muscular and manly and like. Strong man. <laughs> Oh, see me on my foot. <laughs> Not break the bat next time. Not break the bat. That's yeah. like a really crap game show. <laughs> Don't break the bat. Don't break the bat. <laughs> Brought to you by Amy. <laughs> Am I producing it? You'll be you'll be hosting it. Hosting it. Yeah. <laughs> Getting people to break their bats and then going, oh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> and then convince people that they didn't break the bat. <laughs> it's like a little bit of like breaking a bat and how I, how I lie to you or something. How I lie to you. Will I lie to, will I lie to you? Yeah. yeah but... <laughs> there you are, see? We've created a new game show. We can think... pitch, here, we can pitch it to P&O. It sounds oh. better than Wavelength already. <laughs> Doesn't it? Oh, burn. That's a burn. Everybody was coming to burn. We just noticed this really dodgy looking seagull behind Amy over here. Not sure how well you can see him. He keeps dancing. He's sort of doing these weird shuffling movements. He keeps sort of dancing. Yeah, we're gonna get, try and get close to him. So he's quite cute. Oh, he, no, he doesn't like it. He's off. He's gone. He's gone. Here we have. It's not a pair. A floating poo. It's not. In the sea. Someone's done in the pool. Amy has dropped. A hairy, dirty poo in the sea, it's and now she's denying it's her. It's not, it's not a poo, I think it's like... Yeah, you would say that, the person who left it there. I would say poo <laughs> what, what is that? It's poo, yours! No, I think it's a rock. I think it's poo. I'm scared to what touch it just in case it is poo. Well, there you are, see? It's your poo, you recognise it, yeah? What is it? Don't you recognise your own poo? It's furry, though. What, isn't your poo furry? I don't need to touch it. No. Oh my god! It's a third, a furry turd. It looks like a potato. So it's going to be a poo to a rock to a potato. It does look quite potato y. Yeah. I'll go on now, the shape of it. Is it a sea potato? A sea potato! Yeah. 
Here, I'll get, give you guys a close look. What is it? If you could tell us what this is, we'd be very grateful. Everyone's like poop. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that this is a furry. This is a kiwi fruit. Oh, yeah, maybe. No, it wouldn't be a kiwi. What would a kiwi be thrown in the sea for? He's just got on the back. No! What if it's poo, it'll spear over the bats? I'm not playing pooey bat and ball. You know, some, you know some two people get so engaged they were deciding what a poo is or not? No, don't! Stop it! Do not touch it with the bat. That's not a turd. I forbid you. Leave it alone. Stop it. It's not a turd. We've actually found loads more on the beach. They're not turds. It's, I don't know, like a furry rock thing. Nathan was just being dramatic. I think that's enough fun for one day. We had a really lovely time at the beach today. We are a bit confused because it was very seaweedy when we first got there. Then we moved a bit further down and we are like, oh, okay, no, it's it's fine. Um, the beach was very nice. There was those little cabanas. There's like little shops, well, little restaurants around the side stuff. It was a little dirty. There was people putting like, like staff members putting their cigarettes out on the sand and stuff, which was a bit like, oh, God. Yeah, not great. Yeah. Um, it wasn't the best beach we've ever been to, but not the worst. No, yeah, it was still nice and we had a great time. Um, nearly got killed. Yeah, at the end, this crazy guy started shouting murder and about hammers and stuff to us. Yeah, I don't know. I, so he was, was kind of talking to himself and then he started, um, yeah, just talking about how he's going to murder people or he's murdered people and, with a hammer. Yeah, so and we kind of like... He kind of looked like he was going to follow us and we yeah. just walked away. Yeah, so I was like, come on, Amy, let's go. <laughs> we just sort of ran off. Yeah. Um, so that's a bit of a weird end to it. So the, they had like some beds, which were really nice. They were oh, really nice my ones. Goodness. Expensive though. They were like £45. Pounds. 45 euros. Euro, oh, sorry, pounds. Yeah, yeah, it's 45 euros. Like, if you think like 15 euros, 20 euros, maybe. But 45 euros for just a couple of sun beds with a parasol. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Because like, we're only going to be there for like a couple of hours or so, I thought. There's no point spending that much money on it, so we just slummed it, slummed it with our towels on the, on the sand. So, yeah. but it was fine. It was cool. Yeah. And then we came back to the ship, got a quick snack from the buffet, didn't we? Yeah. Our little late lunch, and then we went by the pool for a bit. It was yeah. so hot out still, wasn't it? Hello. Goodbye. Twenty. We left there at twenty-five to six, and it was still burning hot. Yeah, so, we are lagging a bit. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, we, I feel like we could fall asleep. But we're gonna power through. Yep. Because we're on holiday. Uh, I don't know how late we're gonna end up staying out tonight. Because it's the like, sea day tomorrow, so we're gonna have to be up fairly early ish. Yeah, so. So we're hoping not to be too late, but. We said we that, said that last, last night. night. So. We don't trust a word we say, guys, we're liars. Yeah, we're lions. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, we are ready. We're going to head to the theatre soon because that's starting soon, a funk show. Mm -hmm. After that, probably some dinner. Yeah. We can decide which restaurant actually, we need to decide which restaurant. Yeah. Maybe the deck party. Yeah, there's a deck party, which is cool. Maybe so before that, I don't know. We kind of want to go have a walk around the ship on yeah. the deck, but. It's not getting time, that's the thing. Yeah, there's so much to do. We're like. There's a lot going on. Yeah, we're unable to. It's like, oh! So, um. Let's yeah, do it. Should we do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do the it. doors this Let's way. We were given a pager to wait for our dinner, so we went to the martini bar and caught some of the martini show. Tonight we ate at Cyprus, the Mediterranean themed restaurant. Feel free to pause the video to take a look at the menu. I had the Greek Meze board. And I went for the extremely cheesy French onion soup. Whoa! I went for the homemade Cordelia pasta, which I wasn't that keen on. And I had the broiled salmon, which was yummy. Then it was time for the deck party. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to go back to the room and change because the deck party is very breezy and uh, everyone was in my knickers 
And um, so I had to, ha I just put on a heavier dress, less likely to blow away. Whilst Amy was changing her dress, she missed the acrobat. Let's see if our body is ready to we had an absolutely amazing time at the deck party and some people decided to have a little paddle in the water. Ah, welcome. While you're here, why not subscribe, like and comment? You don't know how much it means to us. I'll get back to my sleep. Drunk. Yeah, it's been a long day. Why? Because we've done a lot of stuff. What did we do? We were chilling on the beach. Oh. We went to the gym in the morning. And we walked to the beach and back. So... Oh, yeah, where is us? We've been very busy. What's up, Seth? <gasps> Can we play the edge game? Not now. After a busy evening dancing the night away, we headed up to the rooftop garden for a little wander and chill. Now I think it's bedtime. Tomorrow is a sea day. Amy starts to get adventurous with food. There is some amazing entertainment. And some amazing sea views. Check this video out next if you want to see how our embarkation went. See you there.